Hello, welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Um, I would like to do an unboxing today. Um, this is from Diamond Art Club. It is Witch's Bedroom by Miss Butter D. As you can see, it is a square canvas. It's a baby canvas. It's 17 by 24, which is 42.9 centimeters by 60.7 centimeters. So I'm really excited um, to try to start getting some smaller canvases because a lot of my canvases are beasts. That's what I call them. Um, and it's kind of cool to get some canvases I can kind of do quicker and get some um, things completed. So let's take a look at Witch's Bedroom. This is my second canvas for Mrs. Bird D. I also have um, Artist Room. I really like her style of art. Okay, so um, this is a little sticker. It comes with the painting. I use this sticker in my log book. Um, other people use this sticker on the bottom of their box um, so they'll know which canvas that they have. Okay, I'm not guessing what color pen I have. Every time I do my own, I am, I'm going to guess teal because I want a teal pen. Teal. Yeah, I think I can give up on the teal pen. I think I need to just let it go. So, it comes... Oh, okay, let me go out a little bit. I'm sorry. It comes with a roll of washi tape. A cute little cover. Mine is a little bunny holding a carrot. It has a magnet on the back. You use this magnet to um, hold down the plastic when you're diamond painting. Since it's a square canvas, it comes with some very, very super sharp tweezers that are branded Diamond Art Club. We have a black glitter pen and a black squishy, y'all, that I slid on right on. That never happens. Nice. It also has, I'm sorry, a single metal placer tip. You also get a seven placer skinny and a four placer skinny. You get a little heart um, plastic holder with two pads of heart shaped wax. Always peel off that plastic before you start diamond painting. If you're new to diamond painting, because I, I really did. Um, it was a, a piece of flat square wax, but I was trying to poke it with the plastic on it. I didn't, I didn't know. You get a really nice, sturdy white tray with the stopper. And a bag of Ziploc bags. So let's get into the good stuff. Oh, that one opened up really nice. Since this is small, maybe I can get this roll back with without so much struggle. Now this canvas um, initially came in a mystery kit, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this canvas, um, it initially came in the mystery kit. I did not purchase the mystery kit. And I was so happy that Diamond Art Club decided to reissue it. Um, and as soon as it came back in stock, I jumped on and I purchased it. I really like Miss Butter D's art because it has so many cute little details. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. So, if you notice, you have her little slippers. This looks like a diary with a little lock on it. Plants in the corner. Looks like maybe um, booties on the floor. Could be socks. On her bed, she's got a potion bottle, which I don't know how smart that is. Um, she has her little cup 
and blue, blue like was magic -y steam coming out. Her little um, cauldron where she's doing spells. Her little cat is watching her. Her candle again. I don't know how smart that is being on the bed. I would knock it over. Then she has a look at this a skull, more plants. Lights hanging across her window. Looks like she may be doing a love spell because look at that heart. Maybe she's doing a little love spell. Her little um, paintings on the wall. They look like they may say spooky cat maybe or some kind of cat. I just love all the details in, in, in Miss Butter D's paintings. The artist room was the same way. I, I just love all the little details. So just kind of going over the canvas just a little bit. Diamond Art Club, their canvases um, have a really soft backing. It's made from a material called tarpaulin. It's the soft, softest canvas I've ever felt. Very velvety feeling. It has um, scalloped and serged edges to prevent fraying. Kind of thin plastic, but not the thinnest I've ever seen. Let's see the sticky. Very, very sticky. And something else I've never mentioned, but um, Diamond Art Club canvases has like little bitty pieces of glitter in the canvas. It kind of makes it shimmer. I think it's really pretty while you're diamond painting. You get to see the beautiful glitter. It has a legend on the top left and the bottom right, which I love because I, I do diamond paint with my canvas, you know, kind of like this. So I get to see. With this one, I guess it's going to be a little difficult because... Actually, it's so little, I may not even have to really roll it up that much. I probably can just do it about like this and on my easel. But I like that it has the legends on the sides. This particular painting has 60 colors. And let's take a look at the legend. So as you see, it says Witch's Bedroom by Miss Butter D. It gives you a very nice image of the painting. You can check out all the details. And I do think those are socks. Yeah, and that's, like I said, her diary. That's so cool. I didn't even notice the potion bottle in the drawer. Oh, and that's a tea bag. Okay. A tea bag and cubes and a spoon. Oh, it's so cool. Once you kind of look at the picture, you get to see all the good. And that's crystals up here. Crystals and a skull and books. And all these details, y'all, are going to come to life as we diamond paint them. So, it's so cool. So, let's look at this. Again, 60 colors. Um, it has um, three ABs. ABs are any number. In Diamond Art Club, is any number under 150. Um, and an AB is a, is a it stands for Royal Borealis. It's a regular drill, but it has an iridescent coating on top. And I'll show you as we look at the drills. So, let's... As you see here, Diamond Art Club, they label their drills. So if you store your drills separate from your canvas, you can always find out what canvas they belong to. Sorry for the crinkling. Oh my gosh, look at this color palette. This is just beautiful. And y'all know what? I didn't, we didn't look at the symbol clarity, but down in our club always have, has really good symbol clarity. But yeah, these symbols are crystal clear. They look just like the look in the cameras, how they look in person. Completely crystal clear. Um, they've been having like the longest rows of drills lately. Three fifty-two, seven fifty-four, thirty-eight oh four. That is beautiful. Thirty-eight. Excuse me. Thirty-six eighty-eight. Thirty-six eighty-seven. Nine fifteen. I don't see this color often, but this is so pretty. Oh, and I get two bags of it. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
3350, 3326, 602, that's really pretty pink, 3731, 3341, 951, 961, two bags of, oh no, excuse me, three bags of 961. So I'm gonna say right now, if you love shades of pink and purples, this is probably the kit for you. If you like buying paintings by color. 604, 150, we get two bags of 150, just beautiful. And 3823. Okay. 603, 3827, 3805, 956. Here's our first AB 129, which is a pretty yellow. 453, 894, and 3856. Okay. We have 976, 309. 3064, 351, 775, 3325, 648, 141, we get a small amount of YAB, 3830, 3776, 3772, 128, a little pink AB, 402, 822, and our last little piece, 3836, 891, 738, and 3609. I find it strange that they have these little bitty colors, but they're in these really big bags. That's normally not how it happens. But. Again, let's try to look at the ABs on the canvas. So our first one is 128, which is the pink. Um, 128 is symbol um, one on the canvas. So let's see where we find some ones. So I'm gonna kind of zoom in just a little bit because this is so little, I can do that. Okay, let's see. Do I see any ones on the bottom half? No. Hmm. Okay, I don't see any ones yet. Okay, I see them now. Um, some in her hat right here. Just a few though. Um, what else? Okay, all through here. Through the smoke right here. Mm, that might be all, y'all. Oh, it's a little bit right here. Okay, right here along the the curtain. In the curtain. I think that's all for the ones. So we have the twos next. Um, which is the yellow. Sorry, the yellow AB. Let's see where are the twos at. Okay, so the twos are in the lights. In the little string lights. Um, also, right here, highlighting the plant. It's also highlighting the plant up here. It's in her witch's hat. And her hat right here. Um, it is also in the, the smoke. And it is completely surrounding the heart. It's 
all in the cauldron um, smoke. Let's see. Yes, it's in the candles. The candle right here. It's a little bit on this candle right here. Um, as I push the canvas up a little bit, it is also around the potion bottle. It is dispersed right here in the little cubes um, that's above that T. And it also highlights the plant um, right here in the corner, highlighting the leaves. So there's gonna be little sprinkles of yellow everywhere. Then our last one is AB 141, which is our white. Um, it is simple number three. Also, I missed two. Number one is right here on the top of her diary. I missed that. It's in the symbol of her diary. So now we're looking for number three. Um, do I see any number threes toward the bottom of the canvas? No, not really. Number three. Okay, it's a few little dots right here around the the T. Um, okay, it's right here um, around the edge of her pillow. It is one in each of the little kitty cat's eyes. I don't think it's a lot of threes on here. Let's see, let me look on this side. Oh, also, I missed it. It's also in the cup. It's a little bitty dots on the cup. Okay, it's a few right here in her in her hair. There's none in the plants. There's none on the skull. There's not any on the posters. Let me look in the lights. None in the lights. It is not a lot of three. I don't see it anymore, so that white is just going to be a little quick little highlight for a couple areas of the canvas. So again, this is Witch's Bedroom by Mrs. Butter D. I would like to thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a great day today, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.